Hey guys, today I want to share with you a way where you can connect to DigitalOcean server or any server without using passwords. Now using password is kind of risky because anyone who knows your password will be able to get into your server. So a way we can prevent that is to use a SSH key connection. This way only you have the secret key and only your computer can connect to the server. So this way you will prevent anybody from accessing your server without any permission. So let's get it started. We'll create a new droplet in DigitalOcean. If you don't know what DigitalOcean is, it's a server provider that gives you very cheap servers for with a lot of abilities. I have many videos on DigitalOcean, so if you want to know more about it, you can check it out on my channel. So here I'm going to check on the lamp image this is a pre-built image, so I don't have to set things up. And then I'll choose a small size. And here is where the magic is. Now, I have a couple of keys here. And I want to connect using a special key that only this computer has. So I want to generate a set of new keys. Now, if you already have SSH, SSH keys, then you can skip this step. But for those of you who are new to this and want to generate their own new key, here's how you do it. So I have a couple of commands ready. This is the command SSH keygen that's T that's RSA. This will use the RSA algorithm to generate your SSH key. Now in your Ubuntu or Mac computer, you can press enter and it will ask you where do I want to save this file. I'll just save it to the default uh, location and I won't have any password on it. Now this file is generated and let's check it out. So using my Visual Studio Code editor, I can type code this will be the location where the key is located. So if I press enter, it will open up my editor and here's the key. Now this idrsa.pub is the public key that you want to give to people. And in the digital ocean interface, you click on new SSH key and I'll do Pentaco example here and then paste in the key value and press add SSH key and it's done. So I'm going to rename this droplet called Pentacode SSH example. And then I'll click on the create button. Now when you set up a droplet with a secret key, it won't email you a password to the server. Usually when you don't do that, DigitalOcean will email you with a password to the server. And now it will automatically be pre-configured to accept this key to the server. Now, the, while this is creating, we need to restart our shell here because when you generate a new key, in order for it to take effect, you need to restart the shell. So I'm going to open the shell again. Now it will contain my new key. Okay, so I need to run a couple of things. First, in order to add our droplet, in order to add our key to the droplet, I need to do SSH add. This will add my key to, to, to the identity list. And then the next step I need to do is this command here. So if I do this, this will, I need to update the IP address here with the IP of my droplet. So if I go into my command panel and copy the IP address here, and now this is, uh, my keys already, now it's out ad added to the authorized keys in the server. So now in order to connect to the droplet, all I had to do is do SSH root at this address. And there you go, I'm in. So no password, nothing. And it will only allow my the computer with this key to connect to this server. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and I will see you next time.